as we lead you on a spine-chilling study of the paranormal, unlock the door to terror. In this compilation, we reveal the top 7 scary videos including the creepiest ghosts, hauntings, and paranormal activity ever captured on camera. Get ready for an intense event that will make your heart race and leave you feeling uncontrollably dreadful. Mysterious story. Number 7. Have you ever questioned whether a haunted TikTok video was genuine or not? Smug puppy TikTokers are here to make sure viewers that the content they have been providing is real. As they have been talking, I have already spotted two of the shadow creatures. I've made Kaylee sit. Thanks. <laughs> sit really close. And she's going to grab the camera as soon as we see one. Check to see if they can catch them peeking again. Just try and grab it the best you can. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 Nope. Kay failed to catch them on camera. Moreover, they told that they have tried to install a camera in the hallway, but that whenever they do so, the figures don't appear. In other video, the TikToker also tries to catch the ghosts when they knock on all doors to get his attention, but he still fails. It's the entity again. Here we go. Playing bloody games, knocking. Nothing. Nothing at all. As but the usual. Your thoughts? I do believe they are edited or staged because they don't have any reason to share their home with ghosts until now. Number 6. In Puerto Rico, you'll find the Rio de Sabella canals. With a history of over 80 years, locals have numerous stories and legends to share. The location has also become popular among tourists who enjoy walking the trails or floating through the canals on tubes. This video captured at this canal is only 13 seconds but it attracts a high amount of interaction because it hides a truth that is not what people think. The TikTok account that shared this video claims that the thing swimming under the water is the ghost of a girl who drowned in this channel five years ago. For those with thalassophobia, this video is truly haunting. But the real story is even scarier. This is an actual dead body. His body was recovered a couple of days later. Locals say that gangsters sometimes throw dead bodies in that stream. Compare with encountering the ghost under the water, swimming with a dead body isn't a better experience. Number 5. If we were to rank the professions most likely to encounter ghosts, undoubtedly taxi drivers would be at the top. This security camera footage shows a girl crossing the street, completely unaware of her surroundings as a truck speeds towards her. It appears that a serious accident is about to occur, but when the driver of the truck gets out to check, the girl is nowhere to be found. Even pedestrians had to stop and look to see if there was anything under the truck. They must have been just as surprised by what unfolded before their eyes. There was no trace of a car accident. So where did the girl disappear to? Or could she be a ghost captured by the camera? I've heard many stories about drivers being pranked by ghosts. If you have any similar videos, please send them to me. Number 4. It's terrifying when a ghost can disguise itself as our loved ones. You might think that the father in this video has brain disorders as he talks to himself. Shut the door, Els. It's freezing. Yeah. But did you notice the door? It opens and closes on its own, as if someone has just come home. And that's when the father turns around and starts talking. Moments later, he continues talking to someone while looking towards the kitchen. Yeah, she got him out of the freezer earlier for you. She's put me in the fridge. Prawns don't take long to defrost anyway. Shortly after, the refrigerator door opens by itself. He notices it but turns away as if nothing unusual has happened. A while later, seeing the refrigerator door still open, he calls out to remind someone and the door closes on its own. 
Have you decided what prawn dish you're going to mess up? Henny! Fridge! Freezing! Freeze me that way, you freeze me this way. Bloody hell. Here comes the creepiest part of this video. It's when his daughter walks in and asks who he's talking to. That's when the father becomes startled and puzzled, retelling the story that he talked with her. Dad, who are you talking to? The fuck? You! Why do you keep showing my name? Are you fucking... No. Why are you showing my name? I've been upset. You! I just come in the door! I didn't hear oh you. Oh my god. Oh, hold on one second. My heart's going. You just come in the door. What? The, you just come in the door, you went into the kitchen, you asked me about your prawns because you asked mum to get them out of the freezer for you. I told you to put them in the fridge for you. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking with me? No, I've been upset. Oh my God, I am shaking now. It, that has got to be the best double guy that I've ever seen this entity. I, I thought you were calling my name. Cause I was no, confused. honestly, right? The but door opened you. and you closed it. I saw you, you're wearing your orange jacket. I think the dad saw and talked to a doppelganger of his daughter. It's even worse if the doppelganger starts a lot of fights until we figure out what is happening. Number 3. Continuing with the previous video, this video proves that the devil can not only impersonate your loved one, but he can also fake their voice to deceive you. On TikTok, user the Allah posts a spine-tingling clip in which his wife calls out to him while doors mysteriously slam. The slamming of the door intensifies during the witching hour. Come down here. Ali says he was home alone at the time. His wife wasn't home, she was visiting a relative. He calls out to her but she has no idea. Ali is cautioned by concerned commenters that this might not be a ghost but a monster. No matter what it is, I feel I shouldn't trust what I hear or see too much. Number 2. After turning off all the lights, do you run quickly to your bed? If not, I think you should. This video will give you the answer why. The man in the video sets up a camera pointing towards the staircase. Then, he walks up the stairs. But he's not alone, there is a suspicious shadow following him. The shadow has long legs and resembles the legendary Hunchback. It seems to be taking two steps at a time on the staircase. It appears that this house doesn't just have one ghost. Could the second ghost be hiding behind that cupboard door? You can see a white figure peeking out. Some say he edited this video, but you can see his legs disappear right at the top of the stairs. Do you agree with them? Comments below. Before we go to the last but not least case, thanks for watching this video so far. If you find it satisfies you, be sure to subscribe to me because new videos will be uploaded every day. Check out other videos on my channel. Please give me your suggestions for how to increase the video's quality, and in case you have any sources to share, don't hesitate to contact me. Number 1. For more than 4 years, the YouTube channel Ghost Hunter has been recording Taiwan's afterlife. Ghost Hunter visits an abandoned hospital that earlier treated leprosy patients on December 24, 2015. I do notice a tiny face in the window that appears to be half hidden, it could be the spirit of a child. Another camera is placed in this second room by Ghost Hunter. This time a tall woman may be seen looking out the window in this location. In the hallways, something is following them. <laughs> Further evidence of its presence is provided by his equipment, but it suddenly disappears. I have the same uneasy sense walking through room after room of drab medical apparatus. At 22 minutes and 54 seconds, he misses a very tiny child, perhaps the same one that was peeking through the window before, with a small round face staring at him from around the corner. <laughs> Oh. 
and at 23 minutes and 48 seconds, when he returns to the second room, the same tall woman is still standing in the window. The team accidentally captures this paranormal sighting while casually exploring the remainder of the site. It repeatedly reaches out for them with what appears to be a long, thin arm. What would happen if it could touch them? Because of that disease, the patients have to die in pain, so it is understandable that their soul has not yet been crossed over.